everyone. It's Lisa. Thank you for joining me today. I, and I really appreciate the comments and the likes that I got on the last video that I did. It was a great welcome back uh, to scrapbooking. And I want to keep going with that momentum uh, and get do another page here. This one is a page about baking a birthday cake for my husband. When my parents were living, birthdays were a really big deal. We all had spring birthdays, and starting in March through June, one a month, and um, we, we just made the day of it. The four of us would go out and go somewhere for an outing. My mother in particular liked to go to garden centers and get some spring flowers to plant. Um, so, and we'd go out to eat, and I would usually also bake a cake uh, for the birthday person, including myself, because my mom's not, she she's really has never been a baker, and she kind of stopped cooking about, you know, many, many years before she passed away. So, um, I'm the baker in the family, and this year, um, from my husband's birthday, I cooked here. I didn't, we didn't go out. I think the pandemic kind of stopped this as well. Um, and so we didn't go out for his birthday, but I did bake his cake. And we talked about this a lot before I baked it because I asked him several weeks ahead of time, what kind of cake do you want for your birthday? And he usually wants a cheesecake and he said he wanted a black forest cheesecake. So I looked around for a good chocolate cake recipe I made the cherry compote for the top, and then I just, I think I did the ready whip, whip topping on there. But it was an excellent chocolate cheesecake, if I do say so myself. I'm not a big fan of cherries, but the, this was off the King Arthur uh, flour website for a chocolate cheesecake. I think it has like one or two tablespoons of flour in it. You know, everything else is their typical cream cheese and egg and all that. But it, it was an excellent chocolate cheesecake. So I'm sure we'll do it again. Um, maybe, maybe with some other kind of topping. Who knows? Um, but he loves to lick the bowl and I made his picture. And so that's going to be a page. Because our past birthdays have usually been outings with things like going to a garden center or maybe going to a museum or something, then the pages that I would do about birthdays were about the outing, and they didn't typically have a birthday theme. So that means I don't have a lot of birthday stuff. I did have this one birthday collection, and I had a little bit left. I had these stickers left. Uh, from it. You know, I, I said in the last video, I've broken everything down. I have a drawer full of stickers and a drawer full of, um, or a basket full of other embellishments. I pulled this out. Um, this had nothing to do with birthdays, but I just thought that it was an appropriate one. And again, uh, this I didn't come from this collection. I'm not sure. I don't think. I'm not sure where it came from. It might have come from this collection. I don't know. But um, so I found a few things. I had broken this down, and to kind of move it out of my stash, I had made a bunch of birthday cards, and I've used most of them, but I went through my card drawer, and I still had this one, and I may cannibalize this card and pull some of these things off if they go with the page. The background paper that I have pulled out so far is just a piece of brown, um, this is also, this was basic gray. That's how old this stuff is. And this was basic gray. It, I don't know that it's the same collection. No, this is a different collection. Um, it's The copyright on it's 2013, so you know this stuff is old. <laughs> I haven't bought anything new. I don't know if I'm going to use this particular paper or not. It was a chocolate cheesecake, a brown chair. You know, it just seemed like a good uh, page to work with, paper to work with. What I thought I would do is start by pulling out the stickers and embellishments that I really think I want to use. I've got some wax paper here to lay the stickers on. And then uh, figure out, you know, which embellishments I want to use. And then from there, I'll, I'll decide if I want to do some different paper, because I think I, I could use some more colorful paper here. Now, um, the photos, let's talk about the arrangement first. Usually, I kind of like a chronological type of look, so typically you would, you know, while, while the cake was baking and, and I was doing all the other part and I had to cool and chill and 
before I put the topping all that on there. So this part happened the day before the cake became ready to eat. So normally it would go this way, but if I put this over here, he's going to have his back to the cake. And usually I want my subjects facing the middle of the page. Whichever direction they're facing, they're going to be facing more the middle of the page or each other if there are multiple photos of people on a page. So I could do it that way, um, but you know, again, it's kind of out of chronological order. But one way I thought to kind of give this the, you know, the first photo on the page is just to do this. It's just to slide it upwards. So, you know, I'm still reading left to right. I may see the, the cake first. And I may see my husband first. But let's elevate him because he's the subject really here, not so much the cake because it was his birthday. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm covering up some cords and stuff with the, with the photo here. And I've got some other messy stuff here with the trash can that I want to cover up when I get to the, um, the stickers. And let's do that. Um, so what I would have, the other thing about sliding these up like this is it creates automatic places that you want to put the title or the journaling or the embellishment. You've got an area to fill in uh, if you do that. So let's find some stuff that we want to, to use to fill in. Um, I like the Celebrate sticker. And... The candles, that's cute. Um, I get, this would be good because I can put the date on there because I think the idea here is you just circle the month and the day uh, for his birthday. And so let's see, there's some other little stickers but I'm not seeing any that just I just particularly love. Uh, there's the it's your birthday and this I haven't decided I'm gonna kind of leave the card intact till I till I decide for sure I do like the love this moment thing so again this doesn't have anything to do with these I think I, I think a friend gave me this when she was cleaning out her stash so um, I thought I might put that like down here and you know, definitely use one of the stickers maybe like the date sticker will probably end up covering up the ugly trash can so we'll do something like that there. Let's put it here. Well, there we go. Now do we want to do the balloons? Eh, I don't think the balloons are really quite, quite right. We've got a couple of other stickers. Maybe fill those in here. Yeah, this page is going to need a little bit of color, and I've got two different reds here. I've got the burgundy, and then I've got that celebrate thing and this red. But I'm, it's looking like that brighter red might be the way to go, and that kind of picks up the cherries from the cheesecake. And I'll probably do some, some stickers to say somewhere on here, Black Forest Cheesecake. I could also, since I don't have birthday set of uh, birthday papers and things I could go to my stamps but there again I've cleaned those out a little bit too I had a one with a birthday cake and I think I gave it away I'm gonna go look to be sure though but I do have this one that says birthday wishes and it has that on um, birthday with the, the little sticker so I might use that um, as well so I've got a couple of possibilities there but let's go let me go to my paper and see what I can find and some red paper that I might do some strips going across here. This one, it looks like it's going to have more, be more about the journaling um, since I don't have a lot of other embellishments. I do still have my silhouette, but I changed computers and my computer won't work with the silhouette. The old, the silhouette's too old for it, so I would have to go back to the old computer to do that and cut something out and I'm, I've gotten to where I'm just kind of too lazy to, <laughs> to do that, to, to move the page along. So let me go see what I can find on paper. Starting first with my 6x6 six six papers, and I'm not going to go through every paper. I'm just going to kind of breeze through these quickly to see things that appeal to me. And these are all reds. I've got a few there that have some extra colors in them. Same thing with the 12x12s. 12 12s. I just, I'm pretty sure at this point I'm going to keep with that brown textured background. So um, I'm looking for really scraps that will complement the stickers and a couple of those papers I think actually came from the collection originally. But they're just things that I think work uh, with the theme of the Black Forest Cheesecake, so the red and brown. Now 
Now, I have the card here that I made, and I'm reluctant to take it apart at this point. I haven't decided. So, deciding on which papers I want to use. I'm going to do a couple of them in long strips across the bottom, and then I may work in the 6x6. Six six. So here I have them trimmed. And I really did like putting that 6x6 six six behind both of the photos. I just think it really added a lot of color up there in that corner. I have stickers for the words. And I've been reluctant and t uh, in the past at times to use stickers. Oh, I, I have to say, I put started putting stickers on the wax paper. And I had one piece of wax paper that had some glue on it. And naturally, that's the one that ended up on top of my photo. But I got most of it off. As I was saying, I've been reluctant to use some of these stickers and thinking I'm saving them. At this point, you know, what am I saving them for? I'm not doing that many scrapbook pages. I've got all the stuff out here. I need to use it, even if it takes four E's to make a word. <laughs> Now, I have lots of stickers to use, but I thought I would work with my stamps and add one more. I found another birthday set, and it has a Make-A-Wish, which I think is really appropriate for this, not just because it's a birthday, but because the cheesecake was the wit part of the wish. And I wanted to add a little bit more wood embellishment, so I'm looking at some stars that kind of go with the star in the middle of the sticker there on the right side. So I'm looking at kind of having them go as a border up the photo, um, that's one approach, or I can scatter them, and I decided I liked the scattered look and just do, um, you know, for an odd number, I think I chose five, uh, to, to put in there, and I'll glue those on with the Tombow adhesive. And I chose some green paper, which matches that other green sticker, to punch out another circle to go behind Make-A-Wish edged it with a little bit of marker so it looks a little more finished and then I have what almost looks like another sticker that's an, a complimentary embellishment for the design that's sort of going, ver going diagonally across the page. I typed my journaling on another piece of 6x6 six six paper and then cut that up so those grid papers give your journaling a little more interest. And I felt like it needed just a bit more texture, so I went to my ribbons. I didn't want anything too feminine, but this, um, that particular ribbon has a kind of festive look to it. So I think that it works, and it's in a nice neutral color to, to uh, go along with all the wood embellishments. So this is what we started with. And voila, here's the page that we ended up with. So we started with our two photographs, staggered just a little bit, overlapped, cover up some of the stuff, some of the stuff that, that needs to be covered up in that office. And um, it's neater right now than it was then. Um, but we still get to showcase, you know, I'm having a little treat uh, ahead of the actual cake. And then added some fun papers on this brown background. Um, the, the background paper, I think, is kind of fun, too, because it, it has that uh, basket weave kind of look to it, that little bit of a texture to it, so a visual texture. And then we've continued that with adding some additional texture with some wood grain elements, a little bit of fringe here. It's kind of fun for a birthday. Used a few birthday stickers, kind of made our own with um, a stamp and punch. And um, I'll circle the day and month for him before I put this in the calendar. And that is, um, that's all. So thanks for watching today. The phone's ringing, so I've got to go. Bye.